Sullivan. Welcome back to Slain the Prophesis. I think I'm getting that right. Slowly. <laughs> With each episode, I think I'm slowly getting it. She took another sip. Besides, I find plenty of dark hair all over the apartment. I can tell you it's not me. Not very long, you know. But not too short, either. Okay, what kind of length? Uh, what you length? I was thinking, like, uh... Like, how long is it on the head kind of thing? But then it would be really confusing. Like, is it from the scalp? Or, like, around the ear? Like, it, it's kind of confusing! <laughs> Can you tell us the length in either centimeters or inches? <laughs> I can at least figure it out somewhat. <laughs> About this length? It does not exactly give any freaking <laughs> information. Even before Hope snapped her neck with the edge of her finger, the edge of her hand, Ethan knew where he. And so I thought, if I go brunette, I can believe those hairs are mine. Fair enough, that actually makes perfect sense. This way, are you kind of... Eh. Who cares? I'd be amused regardless. Hope's lips stretched and curved into her mouth. Turned up. Okay. But she wasn't smiling. This isn't helping happening. This just can't be happening. You must still be asleep. Wait, do we have like a Matrix thing going on? Where yes, the movies. I think it came out like the nineties. Yeah, the nineties. That's when the first movie came out. Where there uh where you have Neo Stuck in a computer, he gets out, he gets to see the weird world, stuff happens. Crap, now I actually kind of want to watch that movie. Like the original trilogy now. Like in the really early 2000s. Can I get a good feeling? <laughs> Back to the story! <laughs> now Ethan desperately wanted to, wanted morning, wanted morning to come. But morning just couldn't come far, come for the second time in a day. Hope learned, leaned, leaned back in her chair and looked at him with her head, head in the side, to one side, a fake smile smoldering on her lips. Something had to be done about it. All of it. Right at this moment. Fuck, you're giving me two options. <laughs> Clever. Clever. Oh, fuck, you're giving me two options. Either come up with an explanation or try an explanation. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna save. <laughs> I feel like I should save. <laughs> I'll jump forward. Okay, just saved. You're not gonna give me the easy option right now, or, now are you? It's either I tell the truth or I lie. Which one do I want to fucking go with? On one hand, I want to be honest. On the other one, lying is always the secondary option if everything goes to hell. Shit. Is the way I want to see where the truth gets us. Even though I'm very fucking cautious about this. Look, something strange is going on. Yeah. I am now getting scared. I could tell as much. Hope, I'm serious. 
Something strange is going on. I have no explanations. Neither good nor bad. Not at all. Oh, really? Actually, I have an idea or two. Wait. I'm not saying that yesterday in the store. You can stop, stop short. Go on. Okay, I should have gone with the lie. <laughs> Something was clearly off. He took a deep breath and closed his eyes. Well, this would have had to happen regardless. It just depends on when. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't stare at the girl. I did, and it's obvious. I was trying to... It reminds me of someone I was trying to figure out if I was mistaken. Okay. The eyebrows moved. That, 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 it gives some information. <laughs> I know what it looks like. It's my fault. Ethan decided to admit the part, well, uh, part about, well, round and butt cheeks under the light flowing fabric. Not because he wanted to look better, but because he knew it would hurt hope. And... He really didn't want to hurt her. Okay, I can easily tell that the eyes changed. <laughs> I'm on, I'm being very fucking cautious. <laughs> if this is a bad ending, <laughs> please forgive forgive me if you can. I did a shitty thing. But I'm really sorry. I am... I am on edge. I have a really bad feeling about this. I do not know if she has a knife or not. That That's what makes me concerned. <laughs> he put her hand... He put his hand on the table. So that their fingers touch a little. Hope didn't move away. Next... Time we go shopping, you can stare at everyone you like. I have him on edge. I have a really bad feeling about this. I can't tell if this leads to the bad ending or the good ending. That's what scares me. <laughs> and I normally kind of get the bad ending. <laughs> well, I'm not on purpose. I'll try my best. Not try. Can't promise anything though. <laughs> Hope wrenched, but rinsed, but Ethan knew he was holding a smile, hiding a smile. All right then, but keep in mind I'll pick the hottest ones. God damn it! <laughs> of course, it's always the. <laughs> I didn't stand a chance, do I? He smiled, wandered, and ruffled her his hair. Absolutely. And that, and about the hairs. Hope smiled, disparately, without a trace. I didn't know where- I don't know where they come from. Seriously, there's- there's something wrong here. Ethan, please. I don't want to. No, listen. Please. I really think that some intruder is getting inside our apartment. Somehow. You believe me? Hope looked at him. For a while, then she shoved shoved him. Damn you, Ethan! Yes, I do believe you. 
safe. I hope. <laughs> I wish I could pull out a pun there, but I don't know any puns that would work. <laughs> I don't understand how this happened or what they want, but I don't think it's the time to call the police and let them sort it out. It's their job, after all. Maybe you should actually call Laura first. I think it's the time. Oh yeah, actually we'll have to talk to her. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that as well. Oh, process. Pre pressed his hand. Let's promise each other we won't go crazy, okay? Well, too late. I'm already fucking unhinged. What do you want? Look at this channel! <laughs> do I need to explain anything? It's the polar opposite of what I was generally aiming for. <laughs> Sad truth. But, either way, I'm being entertained. I also see things. Like my sanity? All sorts of things. I want context for this, so I don't make it even more weird. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you find hairs, just some damn hairs, and you start questioning everything. We just need to get through these dark times somehow. Well, at least you can get through it. <laughs> It'll get better. I'm sure it will. Ethan nodded. Yeah. Both pressed his hand again and got from the table. Okay. I have to go now. I'll probably be late. And we'll have to hold up at work today. Oh uh, yeah, overtime. That's so much fun. <laughs> yes. Sarcasm intended. <laughs> overtime is so fun. I had to do like two full weeks without work, uh, work, and I know it's no fun. Actually, without a day off, yeah, without a day off. I already know that it's no fun. Ah, at least the pay is decent. Depending where you are, you, no one can deny the pay, at least the pay is decent. Should I meet you after? Maybe I'll call you later. I guess. Oh. Hmm. I love you. I love you too. Very much. Don't forget to call Laura. Ethan nodded. Absently. When the door shut behind Hope, Ethan called Laura. Hope found Laura a long time ago. Seemed like Laura helped her a lot. At least, that's what Hope Herself said. Ethan didn't know any details, nor wanted to sense sense hope. It hadn't told him. After all, a psycholo psychologist. Psychology? I know the word, but for some reason I can't say. Psychotherapy. Yeah, psychotherapy. <laughs> Is a very personal matter. So personal that Ethan felt as if he were standing naked in the middle of a busy street. And he had to describe what was happening to him. Apparently, one can get used to this too, as by the middle of the story, he was sparing no detail. Sparing no detail. Ethan, sparing when he mentioned the details, email from his contacts, and that were kind of getting on his nerves. Laura perked up. Just saying that you've recently become quite close to your acquaintance. Yeah, 
embellishing and try to help him, right? Yes? Well, yeah. Something like that. And your contact letters. Connected, vivid, describing imagery. Yes? Imagery that invokes a certain response. From uh, you is a is that right? You can say that. He's a writer after all. Vivid imagine imagines he's are his livelihood. Imagery. Yeah, vivid image. Okay, now we're even getting more pictures. Do you know what induces delusional disorder, Mr. Harrison? Ethan tried to, Ethan tried to recall. He definitely read about it, <laughs> read about it, but didn't look into much detail. Is it that thing that explains mass insanity? God, they're covered. Actually, Minimally. If it was even worse, I'd have to cut this out. Like that dancing plague of 1518 in Strasbourg. That's right. This disorder is also called a Phila a Doxa, or a madness for two. Sounds romantic, doesn't it? I don't see, I, I don't get it. Or at least I don't see it. Yet. Am I that fucking warped? <laughs> or giggled. Ethan, actually Ethan thought she herself was not all too sane. Of course she wasn't. She has to deal with guys like me all the time. Laura had already, already returned to her usual tone, calm and usual. This condition causes perfectly healthy people to experience various, let's say, negative effects. Okay. It works like this. We have a source of determinant Delirium, and those who precise perceive it, ones or more peoples. As you currently know it, sometimes these disorders can take on truly massive, can be taken on a truly massive scale. These are usually emotional connections between the victim and this condition. Your wife is also at risk, unfortunately. Or a pause. I can make this a diagnosis in such a format, Mr. Harrison. Okay. I was absolutely loving using older pictures. Or older type of pictures. Tell me they're using shit from like the fucking Renaissance. I don't even know if half of these are actual artworks or not. I literally don't know. However, I think you need to limit contact with your acquaintance. At least for the time being. He might be a source of the own a pleasant thing. You are ex you are experiencing. Would you like to make an appointment for this conclusion? Uh, maybe? <laughs> Ethan politely declined. Laura listened to the rest of what he had to say. She asked what pills Ethan was taking. Ethan wasn't taking any except aspirin, because he had lots of headaches lately. Well, I 
this is something. Either way, I hope you guys have a great, wonderful time, and great day too. Well, I question what the fuck I'm gonna do while Ethan is slowly going fucking senile. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>